Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources. Today we're going to focus on finishing our first railroad to the border crossing and start our exports. So, right, 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 right. So we have, I have a little bit of an uh, update. Um, so what's this? I know you have like the worst name in the YouTube community. So what's this commented? Uh, have had a large, large list of well, three things, but it's quite detailed. What um, we can check a lot of that stuff is kind of known, but also it's not really. So one of them was like, oh, you should finish the railroad, but that's an excellent, excellent idea because um, uh, our oil reserves are getting really, really, really. That's the only thing I can say about our oil reserves because they are getting, um, well, I wouldn't say on the low side we have huge capacities, but uh, we do have a lot of oil and our production of oil is increasing day by day. Um, my backlog of full oil is huge as well, so currently at the moment we are not processing everything that we could. Uh, so we need, well, of course, more people. Huh, who taught, who taught it? Who thought about it like that? And uh, uh, we have only a few unemployed workers. We're gonna check what's the deal with them. Is it kindergartens or not? So uh, anyway, oil is not important. Important is the railroad, finishing the railroad. Okay, so what does it mean? In the last episode we collected so much money because we started uh, bigger exports, but in this one it's gonna be a little bit different. We have uh, no, well, we did collect a lot of money, but we spent them all on the distribution because distribution was one of the issues we had. We didn't get any, we were wasting so much money on food and stuff. And at the moment, I think distribution should be much, much better. I have a freaking distribution office here and I have no idea why I made it for. I think you can name the buildings when you start building them and I think I should start doing that. I think I should, oh here we go, it's on 5 tons, so that means they are getting some bread here, well, food, and uh, I gave them a little bit more vehicles here, the covered hull vehicles, so they should be distributing that food a little bit faster, let's see what how we, how we dealing with food, 558 tons of food we have in here, so let's just say that food is plentiful over here, and I think I'm gonna have to limit this for the future reference. For now, uh, we're not gonna need crops, we're not gonna need... Oh, chemicals we're gonna need. Maybe, maybe. Fabrics, so-so, alcohol, never. Um, I'm not on the alcohol, actually. I used to make my own beers, but in this case, we really don't need alcohol and crops, so this is gonna increase our storage. But 156 tons, that's more than enough of a backlog. If, if something changes, for example, we can... Well, I can do it straight away. I can ramp this up to let's say 30% which is going to give us 343 tons backlog of food for this area and also we're going to be rebuilding this to a different storage with a bigger capacity and hopefully that's going to help us a lot because some of the things we don't really need we don't need 64 tons of plastics around here i don't think we're going to have any industries that depend on plastics there here and around here it could be I don't know, maybe, maybe, and this is the only reason why I'm keeping it here, and maybe can be much less than 64 tons of plastics. And actually, you know what, maybe I should do that straight away. Maybe I should go with uh, plastics, for example, fabrics, uh, a little bit lower, and uh, this is just, is this zero? No, it's 13 tons, that's more, no, it's 6 tons, and this is down to 17 tons, that's fine, because the rest of this stuff is much more important, electrical components, and eh, so-so, they are kind of construction material. Okay, that being said, let's focus on the first thing at hand, let's see if we can ramp up the uh, construction of the railroads. Uh, well, I think there's only one thing we can do in this case, we can just boost up the, what the hell is happening here? so much steel. Oh right, it's connected to this, oh my bad, my bad. Actually, is that bad or not? 102. No, this is totally something different. That's fine, that's fine, I don't care about their warehouse, they just need to be constructing stuff and that's it. Do you have people? Eh, so-so. It could be better. 
could be better, definitely. Uh, I think I should be constructing another building around here. Do we have anything uh, running around here? Any construction? Oh, we finished the heating plant. Perfect. And that means that this heating plant is not really that necessary. It's still March, but uh, I think... I think I'm done with them. I think I'm done with this. Uh, well, actually, I think I said that this is covering everything anyway. So, there you go. Waste of money. Bye. Uh, right, uh, while we're doing this heating thing over here, again, I'm not covering the main topic I'm supposed to be covering. I will be building uh, well, kind of neighborhood around here. This is close to the... Oh, we even have this guy here. Perfect. Uh, so all our traffic can be bypassed over the bridges. So people have walking areas everywhere so I'm thinking about doing the unthinkable uh, right switching all the oh Jesus this is this is really really bad I should definitely do something else uh, I should definitely do what I'm supposed to do but no uh, first residential building let's see Ooh, a nice one I don't no 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 I think this is too nice. I like I love thousand flats they're amazing huge capacity they are big buildings uh, maybe unrealistic capacity but uh, I love how they look they're, they're just lo lo lovely lovely uh, right Leningrad has hundred people uh, and couple of them huh? what do you think couple of Leningrad has. Uh, yeah I think that wouldn't be the worst thing ever so let's see if we can plonk it in. Let's go for a little bit spacey and then rotate another Leningradka on the other side and then third one around here and I think that would be the last the last one. There we go. So we have three Leningradskas under construction. I will leave them uh, with a low worker count here so just then don't uh, uh, steal any workers and I will finish the pipelines for heating over here and I will be done with it. Uh, I hope that these are big pipes and I think they are, yes. And uh, because we have all these buildings how we want them, I will, uh, I will feel free to put pipelines around here. So let's see, uh, straight through, that's fine. And here we go to the first one. To the Batmobile. You can construct this whenever across the street. We don't have heating right now. Oh, no one lives here. That's always bad. This one has 190 flats and this one here has more. Actually, that's not unsurprising. Uh, I'm gonna tell you some things. Like these flats for Pripyat, the Pripyat was actually quite a nice city and I think, as far as I read and heard, the apartments weren't so bad in some cities. Like, even where I where I studied, I had an apartment in the town where I studied, um, we had a small five-story building. It had freaking... it had two entrances and 80 apartments. And most of them were inhabited by two or three people. Not... Um, it wasn't rare to have four of them there, so that was kind of uh, strange-ish. Not strange -ish, it was like... it was kind of packed. So... Okay, continuing on. Uh, let me just try to assign as many... Can we... Okay, this is already assigned. That's perfect. They're constructing a bridge, but I need them... Okay, this is assigned as well. I need them to, to continue building this railroad as fast as possible because I'm trying... I'm really trying to get it finished in this episode. You can see that this... Uh, side is being constructed as well. You can... That's being constructed from the Hezmanitsa side. And uh, we're going there. We're getting there, hopefully. That's gonna be done as well. And on this side, we have this guy constructing a bridge. Actually, this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted one of each of these big machines constructing one of the bridges, and these are the last two bridges we have. Uh, we have a couple of parts of the bridge on this side, but uh, this is more or less what we need. So that's perfect. There you go. Uh, your wish was my command, and I actually did what you asked for. So you're welcome. Well, actually. Still, you soon, soon. Uh, second thing he mentioned was uh, one of the things I didn't really pay attention to, and it might be an important, and might might have missed something. So what we're gonna do now? We're gonna go through all of our cities, and see one of the statistics that I never pay attention to: lifespan. He said that somewhere might be that we have really low lifespan. We will check that. I, it might be. I really didn't pay attention to that, but I, we don't have alcohol just because of that reason. 
So unemployment in Usti is low, population is really really good, I like that, and there's nobody living with their parents, and lifespan is 85 years, that's extremely good, that's extremely well. Let's go to Požiči now, Požiči, Požiči has a lifespan of 76, this is not as good as the other one. Uh, I will have to do this on all of in all of our cities. I will have to uh, place these uh, weather monitoring or pollution monitoring station. I will do that towards the industrial sites, and also I'll do it on the opposite side somewhere. Well, uh, to have as much coverage as we can. So uh, this one is not uh, as ideal as Usti. This um, population uh, lifespan is 77, but it's going up. It's on an upward spiral. So hoping that is gonna go. Um, sky high right uh, not like <clears throat> james bond sky high but um or bruce willis but uh, different sky high. 85 years in Sweeney, and we still have 150 people that uh, are unemployed that's uh, slight not concern that's just average age lifespan 73 that's from a building to building actually yeah this is a good thing i think i should be moving I think we have weather uh, pollution monitoring station here and looks like there's a little bit bigger pollution over here. So I'm gonna be moving these people elsewhere. Let's see where. So Sweeney is doing fine with 75 years lifespan. 86 in uh, Preloch or Preloch. Whatever you want to call it, I think I'm trying to pronounce it as <laughs> as, as uh, Slavic as possible of these countries. So we have a lot of unemployed workers here, eight, uh, 340 in this case. I would say that it could be due to the... we still have a power issue here. I'm gonna try to address that. Actually, we are addressing it by a new... Uh, da, 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 I think we are constructing new power cables. Maybe. Oh, I'll check this out later on while we're waiting for the construction to finish. And uh, these guys are doing well. We have 180 p uh, kids, well, uh, um, uh, tw over 21s living their parents. I'm just gonna quickly check where that is because uh, it depends on the side of the city. So it looks like this part of the city has that problem and all our buildings are full. Okay. And the other side of the uh, city, it actually doesn't appear to have the same problem, but this side of the city appears to have a power issue, so... Um, yeah, I don't see any uh, kids, tw over 21s living with parents, but also I can see that we don't have a lot of free space here, so I think constructing a building on each side of the uh, river would be definitely welcomed choice. So let's go with that. Uh, let's construct a building around here just so our people can move in. Let's see something. Um, I'm gonna go for mod. I'm, I'm actually recording a couple of new stuff you guys might like, so that's that's gonna kind of kind of surprise-ish. No, nothing, just for some tutorials. But I'm hoping that you guys are gonna like it and uh, definitely check it out when it's out. Uh, oh, well, what is this? This seems like a big mofo, uh, and I kind of like it. Okay, this is... What about road? Give me road. Okay, you give me road here, but not here. Okay, let's see if I can give it a little bit more space and point it towards where the road possibly can go and see if we can construct this building. I like this building and I want to keep it. So let's see if we can... Uh, okay, this can go through, but it looks like it's a, a strange one. Let's try... Okay, let's try bending it a bit. No, no dice. Let's move this one. Um, yeah, the problem is connection over here where it's uh, placed, but you know what we can do? We can do this. Let's remove the building. Let's go back to the mods and the building should be is it selected. No, it's not. It's uh, the bigger 360, 660, but no, no, I'm not gonna. Actually, I'm, not even, I'm even thinking about the smaller one, uh, but I don't think that... Uh, I think the city is gonna grow, but actually, do we even need so much workforce around here? I don't think I should be asking myself this question right now, because it's not time for this. Um, let's align it with the power cable over here, and uh, hopefully this is going to give us a nice entrance to the main road. 
uh, that we can start construction on and uh, yes of course perfect okay so we have a building on this side maybe we should go for the same uh, model or yeah similar something similar on the other side they have a little bit more time to construct it should we go on the reverse side uh, let's zoom out and see shopping no we're not gonna go for the reverse side because it's too far I think this one is better so let's go for okay, now we have a little bit more space so we can go for something wider let's see if we can get something these kind of things how much is this oh 500 people that's way too much I think these are these have a little bit bigger capacity I don't like it but this, this is something I can live with the, oh that's too small I expected something bigger this is definitely bigger but I have a feeling that this is unrealistically uh, high population maybe not maybe not but uh, we're gonna be generous with space so bad space uh, let's real quickly lower the amount of workers working here down to, I think, 40 is enough. <coughs> here, 41, I'm gonna be generous. This one is 73, again to 38, that's fine. Um, and this time is okay. Okay, I'm gonna leave this town as okay, and uh, just check the kindergarten issue. Six people missing. Okay, we have a kindergarten issue here as well. Uh, I'm gonna plonk one of those... Uh, nice big uh, leveled kindergartens layers level level layered at uh, this one uh, we can place it here but this is next to the construction site this is next to industrial zone um, this is next to a kindergarten that already exists so we don't really have a lot of choice so I'm just gonna go for here behind the hospital just in case kids uh, need a doctor I will give them a little bit of roads and uh, let's see this plonk like this, plonk like this, plonk, this one, this one, this is all really really nice and uh, one of these and one of these here and probably you want to be connected well and you and that's a lot of work for our construction office. Mostly just shoveling gravel around, but uh, since they're shoveling the poo everywhere, so that should be fine. Okay, how are we doing farm-wise? Oh boy, uh, March is here, we need to pause ASAP. Okay, so we need tractors. Okay, what are we dealing with? Uh, we have cheap crap from Soviet Union, 17 uh, 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 speed level. 24 here, 24 here. Belarusians are cheaper, we're gonna go for Belarusians. Now, I found out when you have seasons, it actually doesn't really matter um, how many harvesters and how many other stuff you have. So we're gonna go to 50-50. Why? Because they're working at different times. So, and also, by the way, oh, sorry. Um, uh, by the way, we're gonna be... Uh, being constructed, they still need the materials. Uh, there are covered hull trucks here, and is any trucks on the way? Any trucks on the way? Yeah. A lot of vehicles on the way. Um, so it doesn't matter how many vehicles we have in a farm. Uh, like uh, you probably already know this trick, but I'm gonna repeat it. We're not gonna have any. I'm switching to extremes. We're not gonna have any covered hull trucks because we don't care about the storage of agro farm. Our main storage uh, and only who's gonna be picking up any crops is gonna be distribution office. So we're gonna assign all these fields to a distribution office, which is then going to be distributing these crops to where we choose. And that our choice is gonna be this warehouse here for our alcohol production and uh, Stalingrad uh, warehouse over here. So they're gonna be getting those crops straight from the fields there. This is just practically a base for our machinery and that's it, nothing else. So we are building several different buildings, storage here, storage here, distribution here, and the farm to do the same job the farm should do on their own, but uh, on steroids. So this is what we're doing now. Uh, hopefully it's going to be on steroids. Okay, let's continue on. We have Lani here. Lani is our wood production area. It has 54 unemployed people, and I'm pretty sure there shouldn't be... Um, anyway, you know what I just noticed I can do? I can just move people from the industrial zones where they usually live because they're shorter lifespan there and then when I move them to healthier areas that should be uh, much better. So let's check Lani, what's happening with Lani. 
for average uh, uh, lifespan 86 years this is extremely well this is really really good 86 years uh, this is probably even record over here let me check, check real quickly what's happening with these guys here. These guys are fine. Uh, if we even have two vehicles waiting over here, that's perfect. We we all flood them with um, with vehicles that supply food and uh, meats. So now they're probably distributing that food much much faster. Cheat mode is not active. I will quickly activate it one third into this episode, and that's line spacing for our public transport. This is what we need. I, we have a little bit of money where I really wanted to ramp up our public transport as well. Uh, why is that? Because uh, we have a lot of workers not going to work because um, public transport is, well, not, do, not transporting the public, so we have to do something about it. Okay, back to the capital. 13,200 people. Okay, this is a mess. This is a huge... Uh, huge capital city and uh, we have way more workers than we need uh, currently there's uh, 600 unemployed workers we'll check how many of them are because of the uh, because of the uh, because of the kindergartens and their lifespan is 85 27 that's quite surprising because they have nuclear production just next to the city and they have chemical kind of mechanical electrical components industries over here that's really really surprising we're gonna get back to that city but what i wanted to do real quickly just check uh, the komarov why am i checking komarov well komarov has no electricity right and that's really really bad because I first of all I can't see the data the second of all why is it not having electricity pause problems okay no power here where is this power coming from it's pro coming from this what is this coal power plant Dukla coal power plant doesn't have this is the small one, okay, so that's a mistake. This shouldn't be connected to this. I would assume that we have another option here, maybe not, but this could be an issue. And let me real quickly reconnect this. Uh, this power with... Uh, I think this could be it, but I will go directly to the power plant uh, because we need this supplied and we need this supplied well. This is really important. This city was example always and we're gonna pay this with dollars. Let me just connect this and see if this is gonna work. Perfect. Uh, transformer station is working. Infrastructure remove. Remove this. And let's see what's happening in this town. I think this is way less people than we're supposed to have here so i am not happy with this again uh, unemployment is only eight uh my plan was to increase the population here and looks like they have multiple issues everywhere okay and this is one of the mistakes i also made oh wow i let's buy some vehicles we have what money uh, right, first things first, let's swamp you with more people. I need, I, I'm sorry, I just need to get rid of these people as soon as possible, so we can move on to another things that we have. So let's see, to fix, to fix any issues with this city. So what do we have? Move you, okay, you're full, let's go here, and then these guys, let's move more people over here. They don't seem to be unhappy, uh, well, a little bit. But uh, uh, the, I, I see several issues that can be, well, issue over here. Uh, before it was the food supplies, which is now down to five tons. Again, not happy with this. Uh, here we go, food supplies be full. Why two and a half tons? Why are you doing this to us? Only two and a half tons of food. And you have huge capacity. Maybe they're calculating this capacity and then they're distributing less. I can't connect it to this because then we, every shop will have two different 
connections, and that's bad. That's not something I want. Okay, so you have power now. You have 4,000 people. We'll get back to you. Now, let's see. Lifespan, 81 years. Uh, fine, not a deal, not bad, but a lot of deaths happen here, so we need to get some ambulance vehicles over here because I can see straight away in a couple of buildings that we have sick people waiting, and um, I believe they might not be in the range. Yeah, they're in the range of walking, but, well, they're sick. Probably there's a reason why they're not walking there, so... Uh, I need to address this. Uh, this nuclear exports is not doing anything. Let me see if we have any money coming. And there we go, we got money coming. Uh, I will real quickly just buy a couple of vehicles here because this is not enough for a city of this size. Uh, right, this is going to ramp up our coal production. Look at our coal production, how bad this is. Okay, there's, there's bad stuff happening in this town. Dukla, well... Actually, not really. Yeah, kinda really. We only have one train going up and down, and it's sucking all the coal. This only means one thing, that some of our production facilities... Okay, they, well, luckily we have a huge backlog of coal, but coal heating is importing coal, that's bad. And, uh, yeah, we need more people in Dukla Mine, but I just employed... Um, sorry, I just transferred uh, multiple people here. And hopefully they're gonna get uh, back in shape. Let me see what's bothering people around here. Sports again. School. I'm just gonna real quickly address some issues over here. Sorry about that. And uh, yes, we have uh, food culture. That's one food only. So that's not a reason to worry. And... Uh, yeah, we have food now, so this shouldn't be an issue in the future, but uh, we're, we're hoping for the best. Maybe maybe with this setup that I'm running here with the shops being as they are here in, let's say, Jdar with these warehouses, maybe it's not ideal because they are calculating this as 90% of this is the maximum they can, they're gonna carry. And there, then the trucks that can carry 10 tons of food are actually carrying two. And they have to go do multiple tricks, trips just because um, they are not being supplied properly. So I think uh, probably smaller trucks would be a solution that would save us some money. Um, speed, speed. I don't think they can um, load five percent. This is this is horrible. Five percent of six and a half tons. That's six hundred kilos or three hundred kilos. Coffee time, guys! Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed them content. Uh, I can't imagine why would you, but uh, still, if you do, <coughs> you know what to do. Right, uh, let me just check uh, again what we were doing. We were checking statistics of our cities. 80 years old average in Zdar. Zdar should have the weather monitoring station as well somewhere. Sorry, um, the pollution monitoring station. I don't see it, but I think we should plonk one of them in there anyway. Uh, I'll do that real quickly. So let me let me build them here in the middle of nowhere. I think they're not gonna be in anybody's way. Um, they're not gonna be in anybody's way, but um, uh, I can find them easily because here it's it's a little bit hard. And uh, maybe maybe next to the city hall. I don't know if I'm gonna remember this, but still next to the city hall we have another one. So two monitoring stations. Heating should be uh, doing well here in Star and. Um, <clears throat> these bus stops that should be manned as well. I'm pretty sure they are. Let me just check how the steel mill is doing. 400 people. Well, it's not 10,000, but better than what we had before. Again, coal supplies are the main issue. Supply of raw coal. Uh, coal ore. Uh, of course, train is already there, so he, he's picking up more coal, and that's creating more problems for us because we're not mining the coal fast enough. Currently, we're getting 500 tons of coal ore per day. This is enormous amounts, but we're still using more than that. Currently, uh, all the coal ore is being redirected towards the uh, coal processing plant, which is not good because, for some reason, our coal... Okay, I have no idea what happened with this one. This is a small coal power plant, but I have a feeling that this is more trouble than it is worth. We are importing coal here, we have more than enough electricity, and off you go the way of Dodoberg. 
So we just got rid of our uh, coal, small, small, small coal power plant. I really, really hope I didn't destroy anything important here. <clears throat> but um, hey ho, we'll see how this is gonna turn out. If it's gonna bite us in the rear end. Okay, anyway, uh, sorry, this is Hezmanice, and uh, uh, let me see population. Okay, it's growing. It's growing again. It was 4008. It was dropping a little bit, but it's growing again. So I'm hoping that everything is going to be fine with uh, people here. And their average lifespan is uh, 79 years. A population is high here, but all the industrial areas are quite far away from people. So I wouldn't... I don't think they should be so polluted and for some reason there's a dot here next to the hospital pollution related maybe the cars stupid cars but anyway we have opera much more uh, the hospital cars so hopefully that's gonna help resolve the issues in this city because bear in mind this is always been 100 percent productivity because everybody's dying probably but um, I don't want to guess. So let's go and check out what we have here again. Unemployment really, really low. What's the birth and death rate? Ooh, more dense deaths than births. So what's the what's the crack? What's happening here? Oh, average lifespan 88 years. So mountain air is definitely um, uh, keeping them happy. Let me see what these can indicate. Healthcare is so kind of okay. Okay, entertainment. In sports. Religion should be fine because you... How do I call them? How do I call them? Let's insult them. Ye bastards. Ye bastards should be happy with anything that we give you, but you for some reason are not. So let's go for something like this. This. And then let's connect all of this a little bit better. Like this. Uh, fine dollars, let's pay with dollars for now, just to see if we're gonna get any better connectivity here, and no dice. Still, I can't believe that these buildings are over 400 meters, even though we constructed a new road. The whole new path to the church. I don't know what we could have done better. Uh, this is what everybody has to take, maybe, maybe this. Let's try this and pay the dollars. Let's see now. Uh, 8 meters. So we saved 8 meters, so you know. So it wasn't waste. Another dollars. There we go. We got one more building to... to to have all this religious propaganda thrown at them. But anyway, this should increase the help happiness uh, regarding the... <clears throat> regarding the uh, church religion and uh, I can see here that uh, the still vehicle is in the shop so it's not being used and uh, there's no no patients waiting uh, let me just quickly check if everybody has access to this hell no okay this is the no dice no access to the uh, hospital for some of these people okay we need to build a faster path so they can see the doctor and we don't have public transport here, so that could be a big problem for our peeps. Uh, here we go. Uh, a little bit better, but not ideal. So what can we do here? We can cut it short this way. Bam and bangarang. Now... Uh, a little bit better, but still they have to go all the way around. Why do they have to go all the way around? Can't they go from the hospital over here somewhere? And then walk here, and then walk. Well, I think this would be pretty good uh, option, so let's see how this is going. Okay, so most of them now have access to the doctor. Doctor, doctor... Uh, Let's try this, if it's gonna save some... Maybe, maybe, I'm still holding my breath, uh, not holding my breath, but there we go. All the buildings are connected to the... To the... They, all of them can go to the doctor and walk. So this should definitely improve life standard now. Again, 88 years, this is absolutely amazing lifespan, but I'm still hoping for them to have a little bit more uh, births than deaths, and hopefully that's gonna turn out to be fine. 
uh, messages nothing exploded nothing exploded that's always a good news and let's move to the last section of our city we're missing here first the Novibor Novibor and oh 62 people living with their parents that's a lot and what about unemployment 400 do we even have a kindergarten here yeah, we have, but nobody's working there. Okay, so unemployment needs to be raised like this. And then, yeah, I think the problem here would be the connectivity with industry here. But industry doesn't is not employing anybody. I mean, like, we, we are full. We are full of meat. We are full of everything. We The, the production is amazing. And this is functioning fine. And uh, I think if I check for last let's say last month import from Soviet block only 22 tons of meat this year would be 73 tons of meat last year would be 200 tons of meat uh, I don't know it seems like um, it shouldn't be happening but it is I'm gonna have to chase down where this is happening uh, one off screen or on screen I will do a uh, re redo the supply chains uh, from the bricks and everything like that to foods and meats and see what we're dealing with uh, look at this for example why is this are they importing anything here not foods though. not foods they're not importing foods that's fine they have everything that they need here this is incredible and why are they still getting food if this storage is full and I'm really hoping that they're oh wait what did you say just deliver Oh, electronics. Okay, that's that's nice. And we have still storage for it. Okay, but for some reason we have too much food in here. I don't know how they're pushing it in because we don't really have that much storage for everything else. I'm just going to try to cut it down to see if we're going to get um, other stuff as well. Right, uh, this is a new town where we always, uh, Bistritsa, where we always forget to do our own voodoo. 85 years is the average age in Bistritsa. I think this is one of the last cities, if not the last city that we need to check. And unfortunately for you, <laughs> we don't have any issues with the population. Um, so what's this? Uh, check your priority or something. I will employ a lot of people in the kindergarten now because I am suspicious about that we might have to do something about that. We did finish two more buildings and they're filling in nicely and two more buildings here they're not filling in nicely. Uh, hopefully they will but everything seems to be working. Heating is on. Well, let me just see the heating here. Um, they're not complaining, not complaining so that means that should be okay. Oh, and we finished the, the train platform. Uh, can we ban them from here? Ban any, everybody. No, no, no. This is not operational. Go away. Uh, we need to finish this first and then we're going to be uh, uh, dealing with this. This is going to take a long, long time, I see. They're constructing this bridge. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. Our car production is actually not that great. We need more workers. Okay, so this is this is the town where we need to transport more people to. Okay, this is a statistic I would like to see in the game. Maybe I'm missing it, but we need. Um, let's see if we can see it here. Uh, people unable to work uh, that are do the kindergarten children. No, 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 no. What is this? Preferences. People who can't work due to the uh, that we don't have a kindergarten. Let's see buildings. Let's go buildings and then kindergartens. Let's see how many of them we have. We have quite few of them. And let's go for 2,000 meters just so I can see them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two kindergartens over here, and they're all connected. I don't think that matters, but they're all connected to the public transport. And let's see how they're. Okay, didn't I address this already? Okay, so we have this transformer station connected only, only, only to one power source. You know what? I know the solution to this problem and I'm gonna implement it right now. So the solution would be... Uh, solution would be this. Uh, let me do it... Uh, my way. Uh, finish it in. We have some rubles. That's fine. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. I, I'm. It's not fine. You're gonna build it yourself because it's your problem. 
Uh, I, I think I solved this solo uh, solved this problem already, but uh, again, keeps popping up. So we, you're gonna construct this on your own, and you're gonna construct this on your own. Uh, so we're gonna go here, and then we're gonna go over here and over here. And uh, you're gonna construct this on your own. That's fine, we have construction offices. This is gonna alleviate some electricity pressure from this. But let me just trace this. This is connected only by this cable to this transformer station. And it's not getting electricity for some reason. We have, uh, so this is not getting electricity, probably because they're pulling more than this is supplying to here. And I have a feeling that this power cable is useless. I mean, it's connected, but I think it's not connected properly to where we need it to go. So let me see. This is not. <clears throat> this is supposed to be supplying some electricity. It's a long-range supply, and then these two cables should be uh, things that are draining the electricity because this connection goes to the nuclear power plant directly and uh, goes to the grid. So we. Um, and might be actually even feeding the opposite direction. Let's see. If I cut this cable here, if I cut this cable here, will this change? No, no. So this is this is not a problem. Uh, but it's not solution either. I don't think this is a solution either. I just constructed. I don't care. It's fine. So, uh, yes, I, I will just uh, diversify, the, diversify the power supply over here. And uh, probably, probably I should have built the huge big cable connected to the transformer station here. And then uh, just sending electricity in the whole, all this part of the city. Okay, uh, I can see here kindergartens. No, no, I don't see any kindergarten issues uh, in any of these buildings for now at least. Let's see the big ones. No kindergarten issue, but the... Uh, there's a food issue here. Why is there a food issue here? Really? We'll get more food. Well, guys are supplying food, but like, like look, they, they loaded only to 55%, which is actually a good thing that the other one was 5%. Okay, so we have a lot of people without a job, but that would be probably, I think, in this area. So what's the problem? Again, public transport. They all fill in with workers over here and over here, and by the time they're going to the nuclear power plant, all the buses are full. So, for example, this bus. Okay, this is a public transport bus. But let's say this bus is transporting workers and it's 100% full. 68 workers capacity and that's it. That's the capacity of the bus. Uh, capacity 68. So by the time they get here, nobody can get on. So we need uh, more, more buses here. So let's see if I can implement these. These are expensive. Uh, I can go for... Well, is it worth it? Let me see if we have jobs for all of those people. So these buses are construction related. Here we go. This is the problem because they're returning workers back. We just have too many workers here. But that is fine. That's fine. I will uh, re uh, resettle people. So we're going to go for these guys here. And then uh, exactly in the place where they have the most uh, uh, kindergartens. Actually, you know what? Let me see. Let's go with the buildings that have the least jobs. So this and this. And let me just shrink this screen, and this one is as well one of them. And of course, there's a big, big issue with this building here. Even though it's connected to the network, we're going to have to do something about these people. <sighs> okay, for now, I'm going to transport a couple of people because we need them in Bistrica here. But I can see hundreds and hundreds of people without work. And that's not because of the public transport. It's because of the multiple issues. No jobs. But guess what? There's a job. There are jobs in the car industry over here, and that automatically tells us that we should be that we should be uh, first of all building up this city. Again, we're gonna have to get more uh, more buildings. Uh, let me see. Shop is here. Is everybody connected? Well, only 200 meters far or further down the line. Clinic. Clinic is a little bit out of range for most of the people, but I think we're gonna need hospital by this time, by this uh, with this size. So I'm gonna go and continue expanding this city. We're gonna have a couple of construction projects. 
we're gonna go for first of all the Daemonini Hospital. I like our people and I'm gonna do as much as I can to help them out. Let's go for something different. For something different like this uh, outside of the city and still well connected with pedestrian paths or maybe somewhere around here. Let's go for something somewhere around here. What in the world is this? Yeah, let's let's construct this. But what is this? This is electric heating plant. Yes, we at one point I think I said that we constructed some other heating here or not? Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe we're gonna need a heating here, and uh, of course we still the geothermal power plant. I mean, we might need a geothermal heating. That's fine. I actually am willing to start with this as well. This area here is not connected to the railroad network well, so I think this would be ideal place for heating, geothermal heating. So let's go with that. So we're gonna go with heating plant. I'm gonna go for at least medium size. I think medium size is gonna be fine. So, <clears throat> medium size, and I'm gonna go this way. Uh, actually, maybe a bit better way would be... Let's see. Can we have everything in the range here? Yes, we kinda can. Uh, better... Okay, better solution would be maybe here. How far can you go? Okay, this is barely in range. So maybe on then here. No, but I like to expand city in this direction as well. Okay, problems, problems. Uh, choo -choo 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 -choo. Let's level the area first. Uh, let's see this one here first. Uh, leveling the area, and then let's go for a medium one. Will you fit if we level the area? No, you won't. Okay, leveling the next area. Let's see how the geography looks when we look at it from this point of view. Weird. Okay, it's going down. Okay, so we need to raise this ground up, but that's gonna be a problem. Wow, this is really going down. This is going down all the way to the river. Uh, yes, this is a huge drop, and I don't like that. I don't like that. I think I said that I don't really like that. What about here? This area is also nice, so if we, or, or as we say in Ireland here, noise. So let's see if we can level this one then. This should provide the geothermal heating for most of the city. I'm really just hoping that we can plonk it in here. But it doesn't like it. Okay, so I'm gonna pause and then I can play, but pause again and remove these cables. Oh no, what the hell did I do? Actually, I don't care about this road. We can rebuild it uh, whenever. And then we need a geothermal power plant because nobody's using this road geothermal, sorry, heating plant, and uh, then let's try to level it to this level. So that's gonna go the opposite direction, but we're gonna have a little bit more room because the rest of the hillside is going in that direction. So here we go, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Now let's go to the medium size heating plant. We can left mouse button. Let's go closer to the city. There we go. I think this is exactly what we want. Plonk, and then we're gonna go and connect this one over here and this one over here. And construct it whenever. Whenever, and I'm gonna keep it as far away from people as possible. Oh, right, right. Power lines, power lines. Power lines, we need electricity. Why are you not cutting this short? Here we go. Here we go. And uh, what? Uh, rubles, rubles, fine. Uh, there we go, electricity connected, even though they should be connected to the grid, and I probably should feed this back in the opposite direction somehow, but I think for now it's okay. There we go. We have more people now coming to work in the car industry. Car, trucks, or uh, so. Okay, uh, let me just quickly send you away so we can start unloading this because for some reason, where are those buses going? To probably construction site or something. And these, yeah. I expected this to be working a little bit better than this, but. Uh, uh, they are delivering all the 
parts here and then they're transferred through to the warehouse. Yeah, kind of okay, but it uh, seems like counterproductive, but... It's not stopping production, so number of people working is the most important thing. Which is uh, just under 50%, you can see here that the number of workers is what's stopping us here. Uh, what are you going to do to the work? Okay, this is for a construction, so... What? Oh yeah, this is distribution? Oh yeah, that's this distribution office, okay. And, and you are just going around doing nothing. Oh no, no, you got the new orders, that's fine. Okay, they're unloading, probably bigger road will be better here, and uh, what's... Didn't we have a second railroad construction here? No, no. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's go back and see how our railroad is doing, and I don't know, I see that all the people are over 80 years old uh, life expectancy, and they are grumpy old um, sober people, like they're not uh, complaining about... Um, they're, they're not getting alcohol. <laughs> not getting alcohol, so... Suck, suck it, alcoholics. Uh, no alcohol in this country. Uh, right, so let's build a couple of these roads for better connectivity uh, between these buildings and the rest of the world. And let's go here and then over here. That's fine. And uh, this one. Let's see if we can connect this a little bit better to the rest of the world. Indeed we can, look at this. But, can we plonk anything here? Yes we can, you know what I'm gonna do? Tennis courts, we haven't done those in a while. So let's go for tennis courts here. And, uh, next to the heating plant. Free, free heating for the tennis players. They're always been, they're always been, um, Underdogs and always being undervalued in our in everywhere even in the real world <laughs> No, so here we go. You can all construct this. Let's see the railroad railroad construction is happening against them. Son of a gun. Okay. I expected this to be uh, much faster nowadays, but um, It's not happening. It's uh, just not happening for us. It's going uh, slow pace, so I will focus on finishing this I can buy more big rail construction vehicles, but they're extremely expensive. By extremely expensive, I mean like really, really expensive. So they would be 240,000 euros each. Smaller ones, I'm not even sure that it's worth buying them. And even the like next biggest one is 113,000, and it's half the size of the big ones. So I don't. I think we are having like the best money for value thing happening right here. Uh, buildings are being constructed and they, as far as I can tell, they're gonna be finished in this episode. And this is a big, big block of flats being constructed, so this is gonna be housing like 300 people or so. We don't have anybody living with their parents and unemployment is quite low. That's perfect. Um, do we have any kindergarten requests? Yes, we do. And uh, what's the deal with that? Do we have enough... Oh. Let's, let's increase spaces in kindergartens. Um, that's the only thing I can see the <coughs> being the problem over here. Uh, why is this? Oh, okay, that's uh, nothing. That's all fine. Okay, now the big thing. <coughs> uh, we still can't really uh, be using this bus. Actually, you know what? We can. So let's see which lines are going here. I want to see which. Uh, do we have lines? Yeah, we have, um, let's see, uh, let me try one by one. This is Pozici Oil Works. This is Pozici Oil Works. This one is, this one is nothing. Oh yeah, we need to pay attention to those. So let me, let me, <coughs> let me redirect those first. So get the, uh, get people from here and let's see if this worked automatically or I have to intervene. So check it. Um, uh, Bus trolley bus station. Okay, so you are assigned to this one. So this doesn't have any buildings assigned to it. It shouldn't have it. Oh, right, except this construction office here, I think. I think this construction office is still assigned to Pozici bus platform, small. Uh, and you're gonna go for trolley bus station. Okay, so next thing we need to uh, redo the lines. Pozici oil works. Okay, Pozici oil works. Uh, Preload, preload, Rojna, Pozici, all works. Here we go. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash, please don't crash. 
uh, where do we go? So we go, this is uh, bus number one. So yes, after the last one, you need to go here. That would be, yes. Please say okay, yes. And now remove the, release the Kraken. Now really remove this one. Please don't crash. Yes! Okay, so we have all the buses uh, going to the oil refinery redirected to the big bus stop. That's perfect. Okay, we have uh, a works. That's the guy who's gonna go away. That's fine. And do we have any other buses coming over here? Let's see if the station says so. Oh, right. We do have the... These guys going here, so that would be the one. So we have Pojici Industrial. Okay, let's deal with that one. So we have Pojici Industrial. Here we go. And you're gonna add uh, this trolleybus station over here to your. Wait, wait, wait. Bus trolleybus, yes. Yes. And then this one. Please be removed and be okay with this. Yes! Okay, so uh, what else do we have? All vehicles related going to this building. We have Škoda. Okay, these are the construction vehicles. I'm sorry, but we're not dealing with you anymore. And this one is... Oh, what is this? Okay, so this is a problem. What is this? This is some vehicle that has um, 82 vehicle capacity. KSM. Pause. Okay, so this is... Okay, so is that Mars? Is that the Western vehicle or something? Okay, this guy, I think he's on a separate line. I think this is the line that I made a mistake with. This is, this one is going to the, to this station. And that would be, this is Pojici Oil Works. Okay, so we have a problem that this line here, Pojici, oh, I just lost him. I need to get this, tr this uh, bus back because that bus is... So this is you, right? Okay. So this is you. And I need uh, to more remove you and get Pojici Oil Works and assign this to you. And... Uh, okay. And we just removed... Okay, this is the sports. So that's nothing. Okay, there we go. And uh, now we shouldn't have any vehicles assigned to this. And you gonna go the way of the dodo bird, my friend. Off you go. There we go. We freed up some space here. I will celebrate by paying for reconstruction of this road so you can have faster walking. No, no. I will celebrate by giving you an order to build this road. Ah, perfect. You can do it at the same time, all of this. Perfect. That's it. I think more or less this is what I had planned for today. This looks like it's extremely bad position because it doesn't have access to kindergarten. Yes, hospital. Well, kind of hospital. No, I think. Uh, uh, but school. Yes, kindergarten. Yes, university. Yes. You have access to everywhere. Why is this? Oh, power supply. Power supply. Where is our power supply? This one here? Just outside of the grid. Yikes. Okay, so what do we do here? Do we cut into these power lines here that are... Why is this zero? I mean, like, fine. We are not sending any electricity anywhere here through this intersection. This is strange. This is strange, but also I think I want to... Do we want to start building a new... Oh, right, we actually have this one here. So let's do let's do something like Yeah, it's just gonna be a lot of wires. I hate wires. I hate wires everywhere. Okay, let's do this. Since there's no electricity going through this, let's do another big project. Cut into this. Bam. And then we're gonna do a big one here, and then I'm gonna replace part of this infrastructure. So oh oh boy. All oh, right, this was supposed to be connected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't go anywhere because it doesn't have like any big uh, consumers connected to it. That, that's fine. That's actually uh, fine. Uh, let's just do a little bit of the mod power transformer, transformer, and get one of these transformer stations over here. So what I'm gonna do now? I will connect. Actually, you know what? I think the world didn't end, and we actually didn't have connected. Um, these guys to the electricity. So what's the, what gives? Do you have power here? Yeah. 
So what's suffering then? We, we don't have any connections. So this power line is not working. <clears throat> okay, that's that's fine with me. Let me do real quickly something uh, uh, that probably I'm gonna regret, but still, let's do it uh, together. You know, we'll just share the blame and uh, let me do this. I'll remove this and I'm gonna build a huge power line, power cables here. And let's see who's gonna be responsible for building this. I'm not really sure, but I don't really care. Uh, distance between the poles is too far. Ah, you bastard. There we go. The opposite direction is fine. Perfect. That's it. Uh. I don't know. Did we make a progress? I think so. I we we find out that I, our, our population is healthy. They're all living over 70. Um, I found out that I'm gonna be moving people if I need to transport them from anywhere, uh, from more polluted areas to well, less polluted areas. Uh, we're expanding our some of our cities. That's also a good thing. Uh, we have some of the workers working everywhere already. I think Preloach is gonna have a potential for another big industry or something like that, and I think I should start planning for bypasses around the city uh, we'll see what we have resource wise around here there was a previously mine but we're gonna explore explore that issue later anyway guys if you like this like subscribe notification bell ring it if I need to uh, leave some comment comment in the comments I'm just crazy it's been a long one guys thank you for watching have a nice one bye bye